Hey guys, and welcome to the unboxing of the December 2019 Keto Crate. Oh, the last one of the year. I'm so excited to see what's inside, so let's just jump right into it. Oh, there's a little elf name generator. Oh, this is cute. Okay, pick your favorite keto food. Eggs, bacon, cauliflower, butter, cheese, steak, nuts, wings, and avocado. I'm definitely gonna go with bacon. So my first name is Mary, M-E-R-R-Y. And then the month you were born, July, which is peppermint. So my name is Mary Peppermint. That seems just like me. That was so fun. I cannot even. Oh my God. And then we got Joe and Rachel from Two Crazy Kettles in here as a success story. I did not even know this was happening. I am obsessed with this. I'm gonna read this whole thing. Oh, that is amazing. Then they have some recipes in here. I am super impressed, you guys. Oh, and they have like drink recipes? Okay, this holiday's gonna be lit. This is really nice. This is a really nice little pamphlet of sorts, and I'm definitely gonna read Joe and Rachel's success story. That is so great. But let's hop into the products. Number one I see, oh, is the Nui cookie. It's a snickerdoodle. Okay, you guys, uh, Nui either has changed their packaging or this is a special package because they used to come in the sets of two, but maybe they just made one big cookie. It says Nui Snickerdoodle Cookie, one gram of sugar, no sugar added, low carb, baked with almonds. Apparently this whole cookie is two grams of net carbs. One cookie is 200 calories, 15 grams of fat, 19 total carbs, 12 fiber, five allulose, which makes it two grams of net carbs and four grams of protein. Well, I like this packaging. I can tell you that Nui cookies kind of remind me of fat snacks, kind of remind me of every other keto cookie, which is just very almond flour and erythritol -y. But I'm excited to try this, see if I'm wrong. Oh, and then we have Kiss My Keto, Keto Gummies. Oh, look at them expanding into different products. You guys, Kiss My Keto, the cookie dough bar that they have is one of my favorite keto bars ever. So I'm excited to see what these gummies are hitting like. It says infused with MCT oil, gluten-free, dairy and soy-free, no added sugar. In here we have peach, apple, and strawberry. I am very excited. Okay, so for this little sampler bag, there are 54 calories, two grams of fat, oh my God, 17 total carbs, 12 of that is fiber, and two of that is erythritol, so three net carbs. Yeah, see, the first ingredient is prebiotic soluble fiber from chicory root. I mean, I just feel like this is gonna spike your blood sugar as well, but like, as the occasional gummy treat, I'm completely here for it. And then we have more pazoots. Premium Virginia Artisan Peanuts Base Spice. I definitely think I've received these before. To be honest, I don't think I've tried them, which is another reason why the series that I make with my mom, Smash the Crate, where we try every product in the Keto Crate, is so helpful because I used to get things like this all the time and I would just never find a reason to try them. So I'm looking forward to actually trying these. I'm not a fan of savory nuts, but like, here's to hoping something's different, you know? For this container, it's 41 grams. There's 203 calories, 17.4 grams of fat. Here y'all go with these decimals again, and you know that I cannot handle it. 7.25 grams of total carbs, 2.9 grams of fiber. I'm not even calculating that. 10.1 grams of protein. They know they are wrong. But all the ingredients look pretty good, so I'm looking forward to actually trying these. Oh, and then we have a good to go bar. Is this the, yes, this is the little cakey bar. I think I've had one of these before in another keto crate. I really, really liked the texture of these. They're like little cakes. Yes, I remember that. This is cinnamon pecan, which is definitely a flavor I could get behind. Here's to hoping that it tastes good. For one bar, it's 170 calories, 14 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, seven fiber, five erythritol, so that gets us to three net carbs and five grams of protein. I am definitely looking forward to this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This Keto Fit chocolate bar, this is hands down my number two favorite. I mean, they're actually tied, let's be honest. The perfect keto, keto bars, so the chocolate chip cookie dough, salted caramel, cinnamon roll like those are my favorite line of bars but if they made this chocolate bar 
it would also be in there. Like it just so happens to be made by a different company. But in my opinion, it's pretty much the exact same texture bar. It's just a different flavor. I like this so much that I actually went online and was like, does Keto Fit make any other flavors of bars? Because like, I want to try those too. They only make this chocolate bar, which I'm like, hey, if you found something that you like, stick with it. But they're like $3 or $3.50 each when I went to go look for them on Amazon. And I was like, dang, do I really want to spend that much though? But like, if they ever have a discount code for these, I am in there. This is one of my favorite bars of all time. And I already know that on Smash the Crate, I'm giving my mom just like a little section. I know that I love this. I'm very glad to see it repeated in the Keto Crate. Nutritional facts. I mean, yeah, this bar is kind of hefty. It's 55 grams. So there are 290 calories, 25 grams of fat, 13 total carb, 10 fiber, so there's no sugar alcohol in this, and 12 grams of protein. So this whole bar is three grams of net carbs. I cannot tell you how much I like it. Now it is that chalky, crumbly consistency. So if you're not a fan of that, like if you've had the perfect keto, keto bars and you don't like those, I don't think you're gonna like this. But since I love those, I love this, yes. Okay, and then we have some no-brainer. Oh my god, I love how that's spelled. K-N-O-W, no-brainer. Uh, Sugar-free Max Mellows? Max Taste, Zero Guilt, Burnt Caramel Marshmallows. Whoa, <gasps> whoa, buddy. You guys, look, like, they, they look like legit marshmallows. Now, once again, I also feel like this would just send my blood sugar through the roof, but I don't even care. It's Christmas time. I might cut me up some of these, put them in some keto hot chocolate. What? There are six servings per container, so about two marshmallows is a serving. Okay. For two marshmallows, it says two mallows. Okay, there are no marsh. Two For two mallows, there are 15 calories, zero fat, five total carb, two fiber, and four sugar alcohol. That don't even add up. I'm not asking any questions. And one gram of protein. Yeah, the first ingredients are xylitol and prebiotic inulin powder. I mean, yeah, like, in my opinion, that's just sending your blood sugar up there. But, like, to be honest, marshmallows are one of my favorite treats. Like, I'm the type of person that can just, like, stuff my cheeks with marshmallows. So, if I could have a marshmallow substitute on occasion, I'm in there. This is so exciting. And they're burnt caramel flavored. I mean, oh, we have an Atkins bar. Oh, <laughs> If anybody remembers, I used to eat Atkins bars every single day. I haven't had an Atkins bar and I cannot tell you how long, but it is an Atkins chocolate almond caramel bar. This better not have maltitol in it. It actually can't have maltitol in it because all Keto Crate products are maltitol free. So that's gonna be good to know. It says C under flap for ingredients. <laughs> under flap, that's what she said. Okay, so. One bar is 180 calories, 9 grams of fat, 17 grams of total carbs, 10 fiber, 4 glycerin, which I'm assuming you can subtract, making it 3 net carbs, and 15 grams of protein. Yeah, let me check what the sweetener is, because it can't be mouth to top. See? Soy protein isolate, soluble corn fiber, polydextrose, like... Come on, Atkins. I mean, I'm still gonna try this, first of all, because of the video, but second of all, you know, I don't think that having stuff like this on occasion is bad, but like, you can't just integrate this stuff into your everyday lifestyle. You just can't. At least I can't. You know, you do you. If you're finding success, you do you. <sighs> Valiant effort, Atkins. Okay, next, uh-oh, we got some more Wild Bills. <laughs> Smoked, cured, seasoned pork belly bites. AKA burnt ends. I mean, these look delicious, but I don't know if I would try them. I'd probably just put them in another meat stick away. But I guess we're gonna open them up for Smash the Crates. There are three servings per container. Each serving is 140 calories, 11 grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. The ingredients are bacon, pork cured with water, salt, sugar. I mean, it's just straight up sugar, but I mean, that's bacon for you. But depending on how you like to eat and your macros, you could possibly love these. Uh-oh, we have some legendary food, buffalo blue wing seasoned almonds. I haven't really been a fan of flavored almonds in the keto crate, but I love getting a chance to try them out. And legendary food does have some good products. Three grams of net carbs per serving. 
Yeah, <laughs> there's one serving in this container. 230 calories, 20 grams of fat, seven total carbs, three fiber, one erythritol. That gets us to three net carbs and nine grams of protein. I mean, I'm looking forward to trying these, even if it's just to know that I don't like them. As suspected, Susie Good Fats, or Love Good Fats, excuse me. We have a cookies and cream flavored bar, ridiculously delicious. I'll be the judge of that. It is a snack bar. Oh my God, there are a lot of ingredients in here. This is just a lot of ingredients. I know half of it's French, but still, that English side is getting pretty lengthy. Okay, one bar is 13 grams of fat, 13 carbs and eight fiber, and then one gram of protein. I don't know, since it's like manufactured for Canada and a lot of this is French, I can't tell if like there's any other sweeteners or something in here. But I'm going to do some maths and just say that that is five net carbs. I'm looking forward to trying this. I had another flavor before. Didn't really like it, but that was a long time ago. So I'm hoping I like that. I do like cookies and cream. <gasps> oh my gosh. Chalk Zero white chocolate chips. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to eat these straight out of the bag. I'm not mixing these in anything. There shan't be a cookie made. These are going in my hand and then in my mouth, okay? Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to try these so much, but like literally as soon as Chalk Zero drops anything, they sell out of immediately. I'm not going to be online clicking like I'm trying to get some concert tickets, okay? Trying to buy some chocolate chips. <laughs> so I had resolved that it was going to be a long time before I could get these, but once again, the Keto Crate delivers. It literally delivers treats to your door. I am very excited about trying these. There are 14 servings per container. Each serving is one tablespoon, so 14 grams, about 60 pieces. Oh, that's a lot. These must be mini chips. Okay, five grams of fat, seven total carbs, six fiber. Oh yeah, and then one gram of protein. Ingredients, cocoa butter, soluble corn fiber. I mean, yeah, this, I, you know. Okay, these are treats, okay? Use them sparingly and they will add to your keto life. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna eat these. I really, really hope I like them. You guys, I've never tried these, but like I'm imagining if they resemble anything like white chocolate chips, they're just gonna be delicious. And Chalk Zero makes delicious foods anyway. So I'm excited. And finally, we have Keto Wise Chocolate Pecan Clusters. These are fat bombs. I mean, that gooey caramely inside just looks like it's gonna spike my blood sugar but like once again i don't care i'm trying these they remind me of those choco right clusters which i first sampled in the keto crate which did spike my blood sugar but they were delicious nonetheless but these keto wise chocolate pecan clusters for two pieces 130 calories 11 grams of fat 16 total carbs yeah 12 fiber and three erythritol, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of added fiber, but that gets us to one gram of net carb for both of these, okay, and two grams of protein. Yeah, I mean, the caramel layer, prebiotic, soluble fiber, polydextrose, vegetable oil, I mean, yes, the ingredients in this are by no means clean, but like when you're going for a pre-packaged keto treat, you're going for convenient and tasty, okay? If you want clean, buy some whole ingredients and make your own food. That's all I'm gonna say. But there is, in my opinion, there is a place for all this stuff in your keto journey if it's gonna help you be sustainable and successful. Like, hashtag in rant, steps off soapbox, you know what I'm talking about. So like, that is all we have in the keto crate. So we got one, two, three, 10, 11, 12, 12 things. Like you guys, I am a fan of this thing. Like I love the Keto Crate. If you've ever wanted to try it, use the link in the description box below. Have you had anything in this box? What do you like the most? What would you be most excited to try? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. At this point in my journey, I make random videos whenever I feel like it. And I am so grateful that you're along for the ride. Thanks, I'll see you next month. Happy New Year!